right guys, what's up? All right, so I went into Long McQuaid again today. I had to, well, among other places, but that's another video. So, in the meantime, we picked up a Boss Katana Mini Amp. Uh, I've been looking at these things a little bit on YouTube and seemed okay. Tried it at the store, kind of, you know, a little impressed. So we'll uh, take a look and see what's in the box with this thing. So, your usual manual. Now, it does come apparently with a one-year warranty, and Long McQuaid does sell uh, extra warranty for like an extra year. It costs like another five bucks. So I'll get an email eventually asking me if I want to renew it. Sure, why not? They cover it. I'm all for it. Now, this thing is battery-powered, or you can power it off of a 9-volt power pack. And it does come with batteries to get you going. Now you can run the alkalines or apparently NICAD batteries or NIM batteries. Okay, as long as they're double A's. So uh, let's see if we can get this sucker out of here. Okay. Now from what I understand from the specs on the uh, website, this has a 4-inch speaker in it and 7 watts of power. And uh, they had one, like I said, set up on display, tried it out. And I did crank it full blast, by the way, in the store. I asked the one guy, says, anybody care? No, give her a cab. All right, I'm in. So I tried it out on a Les Paul and on a Strat because I, I have an SG, which has almost the identical pickups as the Les Paul. And uh, of course I do have a Strat as well. So, you know, that was one of my concerns was how is it gonna sound on different guitars, right? Humbucker, single coil. And believe it or not, it actually sounds really good, but we are going to give you a demonstration of this thing, too, at the same time. Uh, now, this thing does have three different tone modes. It's got clean, brown sound, and... Um, oh, actually, is it three or four? One, two, three. So you got gain. Okay, so your gain control is going to be brown, crunch, or clean. You've got a separate gain knob, main volume knob. Of course, you got to have these all the way to the 10, right? That's just the way it has to go. Uh, bass, mid, treble. Uh, does have a built-in analog delay, which um, I've got a delay, and this one actually sounds better. Shh. Okay, you never heard that from me, but it actually does. Anyways, um, also have a couple inputs on the back here. I'm just going to take my glasses off so I can read. Auxiliary input, so you could, uh, with an adapter, you could actually have a, another buddy with his guitar or whatever plug in or an mp3 player um, and you also have um, headphone and record out uh, so it's a dual port so if you wanted to uh, hook in um, even to a mixing board for example I've got a small mixer in my room my PA system um, I can actually go from output here input into my mixer and run it through there or like I said record out and put it into a recording device whatever um, does have the connector on the back for the power supply, which will be a 9 volt. And uh, we'll have to check the polarity on that and find out what the polarity is, but I believe it's going to be the same as the pedals, but we'll check first. Anyway, so there's a little battery compartment. So loading up the batteries will be pretty quick and easy. We'll get that done for you and set it up and show you what it sounds like. So I'm going to stop the camera here for a minute. We'll go set this thing up in the room and power it up and crank her for you and uh, see how see how it does okay guys so welcome to the demonstration of the uh, little boss katana mini amp it's pretty neat looking um, with batteries by the way it weighs 2.67 pounds so it's extremely lightweight and uh, she's got a lot of power under the hood for seven watts so pretty neat Anyway, so we're going to start out with, um, the delay is going to be turned off. We're going to start on the clean channel, uh, gain in the middle, volume middle, bass mid and treble, all in the middle. And I'm just on the bridge pickup for this uh, with my, uh, with my uh, Epiphone SG.
let's give it a little bit more base. We'll uh, put the base there at around four o'clock. <laughs> Travel. All right, so we're going to leave the gain in the middle and we're going to bring the volume up full. So let's uh, play around a little bit here. Um, let me turn the level up around three o'clock. set up uh, timing is at uh, about 11 and the level is at 3 all right so let's just turn the level off back to normal so we're going to go to the second channel here and uh, the second channel is brown sound full volume half gain everything else 12 o'clock <laughs> center because I kind of like them there actually. Uh, we'll leave the, le the delay alone as well. So let's uh, just combine the two pickups. Thank you. 
for you of the Boss Katana Mini. Now, for 139 bucks, um, it's actually not bad. Uh, I've got a Mini Marshall and I've also got a Mini Fender amp and I paid nowhere near that kind of money for them. Uh, the Marshall is one of those hip amps and the uh, little Mini Fender, well, it doesn't have a belt buckle on it, but, you know, you can always mod one on. Anyway, the uh, Boss is uh, just one of these little portable amps. I mean, you, you don't have a belt buckle, obviously, or even a carry strap. Um, I think a carry strap would have actually been kind of cool if they would have been implemented something like that. But, um, you know, for, for a little 7-watt amp, 4-inch speaker in it, all of this, I mean, you, you get the brown sound, you've got a crunch channel, you've got a clean channel, so you've got three main channels there for your tones, bass, mid, treble, and delay built in. Um, you know, and it's a good size too. It's not bad size wise, and it weighs under three pounds with all those batteries. Um, how the kind of runtime you can expect is going to be um, geared toward the batteries you use. If you use cheap dollar store batteries, don't expect a lot. Okay, if you use rechargeable AA batteries, um, I believe they say on the website. Um, six to nine hours, somewhere in that time frame. I'd have to check on, on the site again, uh, or even in the manual, just to verify that. Um, they don't give an actual time per se for just regular alkalines, but it wouldn't be a whole lot different than the rechargeables. Um, now, I would personally recommend 
uh, alkalines because you get more power out of them, okay? Uh, unless you're buying high milliamp uh, NICADs, you get more run time, but you wouldn't get more voltage because you do get more voltage out of alkalines, but you do get a steadier current of lower voltage, um, but it's not by a whole lot of difference on, on NICADs or rechargeable NIMS even. And you definitely would do perfect with a 9-volt power supply if you were going to leave this as basically like a stationary little practice amp. Um, but it ain't no toy, that's for sure. Um, it's a serious little machine. Um, when I first saw the Katana amps come out, um, now I was looking at the Katana 50 and the Katana 100, more at the 100. Um, but uh, then they come out with this and I thought, well, it's a boss. It's a katana, and it's a mini. And uh, because my, my goal is, even though I love Boss equipment, I think Boss makes some really nice stuff. They really do. They've been in business for decades. Um, I think this was a good purchase. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not complaining about it at all. Um, I think as far as the 7 watt part goes, I don't think it's actually putting out a true 7 watts. Um, I think it's probably closer to about maybe 4. Uh, but we'll see, maybe we'll get more output with a power supply because I do know uh, that a lot of things that we plug in or run off batteries, as a prime example, my PV Edition 20, now that's an old amp, it's over 30 years old, when it runs off batteries you only get 3 watts of power. When you plug it into the wall, which converts its AC power into DC power for it, um, you get 12 watts of output. So you lose a lot of wattage running on batteries. So it could be that this is actually a good 7 watts of juice on a power supply. But I need to check into the polarity on it first and if it's the same as you know a regular pedal, well then I've got power packs here already. And uh, if it does make a difference, I will do an update video for you guys. But if it makes no difference, don't look for a video. Um, Anyway, so $139 plus tax is what I paid for this at Long McQuaid in North Bay, Ontario. So that's Canadian dollars. And you can buy this from any Long McQuaid store. You can order them online through Long McQuaid. Um, there's probably a lot of other music shops that are going to be carrying them. The carry Boss products, so you can get them at a variety of different places, whether you're in Canada, the U.S., wherever. Um, I think it's quite a, quite a neat little portable amp. I mean, if you want to go to the beach, bring your electric guitar, you know, and I've got a wireless kit hooked up, but you can, you know, plug your amp cable in. It's just, I don't do the amp cable thing anymore. I'm all wireless with everything. Um, great portable amp, you know. Um, I would say if you're looking at it for, um, say your, your kid is, you know, learning how to play guitar, um, I wouldn't really suggest this as a good beginner amp in that sense because it's expensive you can get a really nice small Marshall amp for like 120 bucks and that puts out like 10 watts and Marshall stuff is pretty you know good um, you can also get a lot, variety of different Fender amps too um, my Fender Mustang 1v2 amp I paid like 169 for that $30 more for something with an 8 inch speaker 20 watts of power and all kinds of goodies built in right you know, but I mean, this is also a Boss product. Boss stuff has always been known to be pricey, um, but they're also known to be very exceptionally good quality. And that's where I'm going to say, yeah, I think it's worth the 140 even though it kind of did hurt the wallet, um, you know, a little bit. But you get a clean channel. You get a brown channel. You get a crunch channel. You've got separate volume and gain controls. You've got bass, mid, and treble. And you have a built-in analog tape delay okay plus you can you've got an auxiliary input for another instrument or an mp3 you have a headphone port that is dual output for either headphones or you can run it into a recorder or mixing board and then through a recording system um, i don't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to use pedals with this thing if you wanted to um, you know, it's very clean, even at high volumes, it's very clean tones, uh, whether you're on crunch, clean, or brown, uh, it's very, it stays very clean in its sound. Um, any buzzing you're hearing has nothing to do with the amplifier, it actually has to do with my tambourine, or, yeah, my tambourine that's up on the wall there. Um, that's 
the buzzing you're hearing. If you're hearing any kind of buzzing in the video, it's because this thing is a little obnoxious and it actually does that. Any of my amps do that when that tambourine's on the wall. Um, so, but it is clean, trust me, it's very clean. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I like it. Um, we'll see how long the stock batteries last that came with it. Um, I'm definitely going to be playing around with this thing all weekend and having some fun and, you know, um, and over the course of however long. Um, should I run into any problems at all, I will definitely let you guys know. Um, it is covered for a full year, you know, through, uh, through Boss, and you just bring it back to your music store you bought it from, you know. Uh, now, Long McQuaid, a bonus with them is they can also sell you uh, for another $5, I think it was, um, an additional one-year warranty. So that gives you two years. One year straight from Boss and a second year right from Long McQuaid. Okay? Because let's say something happens in year number two. Um, well, you only had a one-year warranty. Uh oh But if you have the Long McQuaid extra warranty on it and anything happens, they take care of if they have to ship this to the manufacturer, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Well, it's being repaired. Um, the other bonus, too, is they will give you a loaner while this one's away. Um, getting them fixed. Um, if for some reason, let's say they don't make them anymore, right? You have that extra warranty. Long McQuaid replaces it if you have their warranty uh, with, I guess, the next better version, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get the extended warranty eventually, but I have the entire year to get it at any time I want, which is another nice thing. It's an open thing, um, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah really good um i like it uh i like the delay actually uh the delay is actually i find it's a little nicer than my delay pedal that i have um and it does have good bass output it does have some good highs too uh, so it does have plenty of treble so some of you guys might want to dial down the treble a little bit uh depending on what you're doing with it but uh and i like the carry handle that's actually kind of nice you know, and it's it's a solid carry handle. It's a solid little lamp, period. It's like, you know, that's not bad for just under three pounds, too. You know, that's that's decent. So, uh, I, I like it. Out of, out of all the mini amps I, I've, you know, played around on, plus ones I, I own, I really like this one. This is, this is pretty cool. Anyways, uh, so thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for a full review, because this is just unboxing and demonstration, and my main opinion on it so far. But I will have a full review for you guys uh, once I've, you know, exhausted these batteries. We'll see how long it took to actually kill the original batteries. But at the same time, it's, I'm going to put this thing through my pedal board and see how it does through the pedals. And I'm going to hook it up to the sound system and, you know, put it through one of the channels on there and see how it does. And, you know, just to give you guys more info when I do the full-fledged review on it. So, again, thank you for watching. And uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel... Hit subscribe, and then when that little bell lights up, click on it, and then uh, click yes to get more uh, videos from my channel. So, hey, catch you later. Thanks. Bye.